Hi, I'm Liz Granberg Jerome from Gypsy Dreamer Quilts, and I'm going to show how I set up my brother sewing machine, which is a zigzag modern machine, to have a consistent three dimensional guide as a seam guide for when I'm stitching uh, quarter inch seams. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my needle to the right. Mine will go up to 7.0. I'm going to bring it back to 6.5 and I'm going to take my little ruler here which is a quarter inch seam guide and I'm going to drop my needle down in that little tiny hole right there. And then without pulling too hard and bending the needle, but just pulling gently to have it snug, I'm going to drop the foot and then I'm going to take a piece of this mole foam padding. It comes in your foot care department. Instead of mole skin that's fairly thin, this is the mole foam that's fairly thick. And I cut off a piece about a quarter inch wide. And I'm going to put that on right next to that ruler. Now by moving my needle to the right, I can put that foam right next to my sewing machine foot without being on top of the feed dogs. Because you can't put it on top right close for um, if you're going to use a quarter inch foot because if you put it right up next to the foot, it wouldn't be able to work because the feed dogs would try and grab it. So if you move your needle to the right, put your little guide in and drop a piece of mole foam down next to it, then I can pull my needle right back out, remove my little ruler, and then I should be able to start sewing. Now I've got some one and a half inch wide pieces here and I'm going to sew with my guide right there. I've got an open toe foot that's, that I can see where it's sewing right next to it. Pull my needle back up. Pull that off. And then I'm going to take another piece here. and so on to it at the same place. So I'm going to have three one and a half inch pieces, which should finish at three and a half because you'll have your two quarter inch seams for the final seam on each side. So the center piece should measure one inch between the seams. get this finger pressed out a little bit here and I've got a little ruler over here and if we put a ruler right here between the seams it's actually a little more than an inch so I might want to move my needle back to 6.0 so that my seams aren't too big because if I measure the whole thing it's now three and five eighths and it should be three and a half. So you're gonna have to do a couple of test pieces. I'm gonna bring this needle position back one and I'm gonna re-sew this seam. Right next to that one, but it should be just inside of it. I do the same thing on the second seam that I sewed. And so that one as well. And see how I'm keeping that fabric right snugged up next to that mole foam 
that's going to give you a consistent uh, quarter inch seam with a dimensional edge. And now let's see if we're closer here. If I put the one inch between those, we're closer. If I do this, oh, we're still a little bit wide. And that may be a factor of not having the fabric right up next to it, but it's something I can adjust for and still have a guide that's outside of the feed dogs so that as you're feeding pieces through, you've got a guide all the way through past the foot. Now, if you're using a vintage uh, featherweight, there's no need to and you can't move the needle and you should you could put this right up at the quarter inch and again use your little guide and see where it fits drop it down and then you would adjust where the mole foam is if it were too wide or too narrow rather than moving the needle back and forth as you would on a modern machine and that's how I have learned to make consistent quarter inch seams no matter what I'm working on by having a dimensional guide that I can run my fabric right up along as I'm sewing. Hope this helped.